subject is maths today we will learn how to represent numbers on abacus now numbers three digit numbers na abacus nalli yav rithi represent madodu annodanna kaliyona okay na see an abacus then what is an abacus already you have learned in first standard no it's a tool used to represent numbers adu ondu tool adu numbers na represent madlikke use martivi see that abacus you are seeing no yes it has rods adike rods ide kaanta ide alva makkale nimige called spikes aa rod na nave enanta karithivi spikes anta helthivi where we put beads adralli beads mani galanna haaktare each spike can have a maximum of 9 beads adu ondu ondu spike nalli maximum eshtu beads hakbodu 9 beads na haaktare okay you are seeing that no yes that is the abacus if there are two spikes it has ones and tens if there are three spikes it has ones tens and hundreds come today let us learn how to represent three digit numbers on abacus okay the topic is representing numbers on abacus a b a c u s representing numbers on abacus okay yes see children here 1 2 3 from the right we give the place always from the right so the first place is called ones and from the right second is called tens and from the right the third place is called hundreds ones tens hundreds okay so here see children the given number is 100 what is the given number here 100 see 100 it's a three digit of number 100 is a three digit of number see 100 1 2 3 it's a 3 digit of number so how to represent this number on abacus hi three spikes of abacus are you know how the number na represent madbeku see children here here from the right the first place is ones and the second place is tens and the third place is hundreds no yes see here in hundreds we are seeing here only one in hundred we are seeing here only one digit so here we have to put only one bead in hundreds hundreds five in a way have to put only one bead we have to put look at tens please is there any number tens any other number idya makle there is no number no so no bead ill number illa so we should not put any bead okay look at ones place is there any number no nothing is there zero only zero isn't it so here also we should not put any bead okay illi kuda ali number enu illa irudinda we should not put any bead so how to write for ones there is no bead you put zero and in tens also there is no bead so you put zero but in hundreds here is only one bead so you put number here 1 so the number is 100 100 100 okay look at another one how to represent this number on abacus yes first you have to see how many digits are there 
See in 261, how many digits are there? There are 3 digits. See here 1, 2, 3. So, take 3 spikes. 1, 2, 3. Okay. And give the places from the right. 1s, 10s, 100s. 1s, 10s, 100s. Look at here. Here is a, in one's place, the digit is only 1. One's place is not digit from the other one. Only 1. So, in one spike, you have to put only 1 bead. One spike only, yes to bead from the other Only 1. Look at the next place. What is the digit given here? 6. It is in which place? Second place is called tens. So where is tens here? Here no second line. So six beads. Totally how many beads you, you have to put here? Six. Count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. How many are there? Six beads are there. Now go to next place. See here, this is hundreds place. Third place is called hundreds, no? So in hundred there is given two. So in hundreds five, how many beads you have to put children? Two beads. See here, one, two. Okay. Below this you write the digits. See here, in ones there is only one. B, so write 1 and in text side there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 bits right under here 6 look at next 100 side only 2 are there right here 200 and how to read this number 261 how to read this number 261 ok Yes. To understand better, come let us do exercise 2.5. It is given in page number 83. Page number 83 nane exercise there. I will do only one on the board. Okay. Remaining you only do children. Okay. Draw the correct number of beads on the given abacus. Draw the correct number of beads. On the given abacus. The first one is. What is the number given here? 108. What is the first one given here? 108. 108. You have to write the bead. Okay. Count and put the beads. On the spikes. The spikes will remain on the go. Beads on the go. Okay. See here. Ones, tens and hundreds. See ones column. How many beads you have to put? For ones spike. Yes beads on the go. Yes. Eight beads you have to put now. So I will put here eight beads. One, two, three, four, 5, 6, 7, 8. Finished now? Yes. We go on to the next place that is 10. Is there any number in 10? No. 0 is there. So, no need to write the bead here. Okay. Look at the next. That is 100. The number is given here. 100. How many hundreds are there? Only 100. So, you put here only one B. Now how to read this number? 100. There is nothing. And 8. 100 and 8. Okay. Did you all understand how to put B's on the given abacus? Yes. Now take the homework. It is in page number 83 and page number 84. Do it in the textbook.
I hope all of you are understanding. Okay. Thank you very much. See you in the next class. Day.